So let's start cutting. In order to cut a large stack of lumber, make yourself up a nice big square. This is what I'll use out, this is a miniature version of what I use out in the job. Take a two by four, rip it down to about three inches. You don't want a full two by four. Because what I want to do is to be able to pull this and grab two layers of studs at the same time. And you see I've got eight footers, I've got pre-cuts, just sort of a whole random bag here. That's good, they squared up good, Tom? Yeah. What I'll do is I'll take now, I'm gonna take my story pole, line that up with one end, and I want to cut jack, well, I want to do pre-cuts right now. So I'll make a mark for my pre-cut. And we'll square right across the front of that. Now you notice I've got some cutoffs that are going to come at this end here. I've got five or six inches on some of these. Now's the time to think about those cripples. All right, we noticed that maybe on some of our story poles we had a three or four inch cripple. Well, this is waste. Why not use it? So before I cut my jack studs, if I need some three inch cripples, I'll take my square, I'll get a little five gallon bucket sitting over here on the right side. So there's a bunch of three inch. Look at that, I'm gonna get two of these. So here's what we'll do. Before I cut my jack stud, there's some three inch. There's some more three inch. Here's my jack stud. Uh, I got a lot of waste here. So these are all jack studs. These are all ready to go. Those are jack studs. But I've already, I've already got my cut marks for these cripples. I might as well finish these off. So you can see I'm using all of my material at this point. I'm cutting. I'm cutting down to the sizes that I want. As I do two levels at a time. I don't go any beyond that because once you start going through different, more levels, if I were to cut completely through this to the level behind it, it starts to drift a lot. And for framing, we want to keep it a little bit tighter than that. Now I'm just going to cut a couple of cells. I won't cut all of them. I've got my story pole. Lay my story pole right on top. I haven't taken my tape measure out yet because I did that all in the beginning. And so there's a mark for another sill. Make that. So I've got five cripples that go underneath the window at this point. I can slide them over. They're ready to go into the window packages. So I'm gonna take those. Maybe I'm getting three or four per window. This goes with my W7 window package. We'll put them together. So I'm starting to make kits up. So when we start to get into the wall frame and everything's done already, one last thing I wanted to show you before I get off the cut table is the way I've constructed this cut table. You can see that I've got a bunch of two by fours laid out that I can cut anywhere on the table. And the, the neat thing about the table is try to get a crown to it. If you can maybe jam a couple of shims underneath in the middle, wherever you put that saw, you should be able to comfortably cut. Without any effort, and it's very safe. So the table really makes my work go a lot easier. So that's kind of a quick tutorial on how I get into production techniques in the remodeling end of it.